day, babe. Work an extra three hours. Turn out the lights and set the alarm when you leave. Be a good boy, Max. Do whatever the hell I tell you. No, sir. Not anymore. I have wasted enough of my life in that dump. I practically carry that office, yet somehow I get the least amount of respect. And worse than that, I get insulted. As I'm rushing around, sweating over deadlines, trying to make sure that this asshole gets the right information to that asshole, and none of them can even look me in the eye. And he's standing there, leaning over Jenny's desk like he likes to do. And he's mocking me. He's looking right at me, whispering to her, and she turns around, looks straight at me, and laughs. The derision in his eyes, that smirk in the corner of his face. I can't stand that look anymore! I'm tripping over my feet to make sure orders go out in time, to make him more money. That's it. That's it. He blew it. Why would he choose to make me his confidant, keeping his extramarital activities a secret and then belittle me in front of others? He's a fool to treat me this way. I could ruin his life the next time his wife calls. <gasps> Hello, Claire? No, he can't come to the phone right now. He's at the motel next door. Humping the receptionist! Does he not have the slightest idea that I might retaliate? How pathetic does he think that I am? I do everything for him, yet I get nothing in return. Well, tonight, I'm gonna get something, boy. Revenge. Been saving this for a special occasion. And I got it just for you. Should have had your name engraved on each bullet. You've hit your quota of infractions against me, and now it's payday. A direct deposit of hot lead into your smug face. You've reduced me into something less than human. A scared animal, weak and whimpering. Well, now I'll show you what kind of man I can be. I'm flesh and blood. I had pride, self-respect, dignity, until you took them from me. But you didn't take it all. There's still enough of me left to send you straight to hell. Max is done being a good boy. I won't be your bitch any longer. Everybody's got a breaking point and you found mine. You thought I was harmless? That there'd be no consequence? You prodded and jabbed and I kept quiet and I remained loyal. You knew I wouldn't bite the hand that feeds, but I'm gonna bite. I'm gonna bite hard.
I'm gonna watch you die. So will your wife and your kids, and they'll scream and cry, and it'll be music to my ears. I don't care if I'm hauled off in chains and shoved into a cage for eternity. I'll have had justice. I'll sleep just fine wherever they put me. You've made a grave error. Arrogant son of a bitch. Not a care in the world. Savor these last few breaths. I've allowed you to take them. And when you take your last, lying on your back with me towering over you, you'll realize you put the gun in my hand. You pulled the trigger. The words you used the offenses you made, the advantages you took. I've spoken enough, and now I'm gonna take action. Your tyranny comes to an end. Hi, John. What are you doing here? I, uh, I was nearby, I thought I'd... Swing by, say hello. Come here, I want to talk to you. Come here, Max. Did you lock up and set the alarm? Oh, yes, of course. Did you remember to turn off Steven's air conditioning? No matter how many times I'd tell. Yes, I took care of it. Lights, computers, everything was off when I left. Thank you for coming by, Max. Nobody else at the office would have thought to. I want you to know that all of the extra hours you've been working, the responsibilities you've been taking on, haven't gone unnoticed. And I appreciate what you're doing for the company. Oh, it's... it's nothing, sir. Not to mention the personal favors that you've been doing for me. I feel like I can trust you more than anyone else in the office. Really? I'm going to reward you for your loyalty. Once the season is finished and everything slows down, you're going to get a nice treat. That's just between you and me. You understand? Well, of course, <laughs> yeah. Good. A good boy, Max. Good boy. Thank you. Why don't you come in early tomorrow, get everything open and ready for a busy day? Yeah, absolutely. I'll, five o'clock, I'll be there and open everything. 
It'll all be ready. Don't forget the coffee. No, sir. It'll be hot and ready for the whole office. You have a nice night, Max. You too, sir. Good night. Oh, boy. <laughs> see? See, I knew he noticed. I knew he'd take care of me. Because hard work doesn't go unrewarded around here. It's a good company I work for. No, a good man. John's looking after all of us, and he rewards the exceptional few. That's me. I'm the point man. He's the brain and the heart, and I'm the spine. And probably the arms and legs, too. All working together to make this whole operation a success. He trusts me more than anyone else. Loyalty will get you far, boy. I wonder what'll get me in a couple months. A big fat bonus? A car? <laughs> I can only imagine. John is a good man, a man of his word, a true leader. Tomorrow, he's gonna see what I made of. He'll be impressed as hell. I'm going over the top. Mm. Everybody's gonna see the work I put into that place. It'll look like a brand new office. Everything cleaned up and organized. They'll know who's number two around these parts. We've got each other's backs for the company. I don't want to hear anyone speak a word against him. Anytime I hear a complaint, I'm going to shoot them down. They don't know how good we have it. Oh boy, I'm so excited. Tomorrow's a day of new beginnings. I hope I can get to sleep. I'm wired as hell. <sighs> Gotta get some sleep. Tomorrow I give it 1,000%. He leads, I follow. I'll set an example for the rest of them. I'll be the model employee. I'm his boy. 